The Leftovers is the greatest show of all time, probably, and everybody wants to act like it doesn't exist. We fucking watch the show. It's amazing how no, like just nobody is willing to do it. Nobody even watched it at the time. And then season three. So the show was so good that even though nobody watched it, it was getting beat by like Seinfeld reruns and shit. And like even lesser shows than that were some of the examples. It was getting beat by like something being reran on like TNT. You know what I mean? Like crazy bad ratings. HBO's like, you know what? We'll give you one more season. Wrap it up. They're like, this show's so good, you have to finish it. And when I say that the last season of that show is the most breathtaking thing, like, I cannot stress it enough. That was like, how did they somehow make this even better? The third season of The Leftovers is like the greatest television ever made. Now, Damon Lindelof, it's like, is he good? Is he not? I don't know, because everybody hates Lost. I think I would hate Lost. I'm not interested. But this, like, I come on. First of all, Margaret Margaret Qualley, I love you. You know, hit me up. You're an angel. And Justin Thoreau, I mean, you thought Mulholland Drive was great, which I'm. Uh, I guess I do. Do I want to say that The Leftovers is better than Mulholland Drive? That's a crazy comparison to make in the first place. So I don't know about that. But just what a hunk. And Carrie Coon, one of the greatest characters uh, in modern time, certainly, that I've ever seen. And she is just unbelievable. So she plays a woman who... For those who you don't even know what it's about. I've been talking about the show like anybody even has heard of it before. 2% of the Earth's population mysteriously disappears. This is about one family's journey in the aftermath two years later and forward. There's like cults that are formed and the whole world is changed and it's like a whole dramatic thing. But it's like a trying to realistically portray how the world would change after such a crazy event, basically. So... Carrie Coon is a woman, I keep just calling her Carrie Coon, she plays a woman named Nora Durst in the show, and Nora Durst loses her entire family. She had three children, two or three children, and her husband, and they all disappeared. So she is like a, not a national phenomenon, but certainly a local, she's well known, and basically new branches of the government had to get created for, like, insurance and stuff like that, for people that just vanished. Like, it had to become a whole new thing. So she works for them, conducting audits, and, like, people know her. So she's, like, famous in, it's called The Departures, like, The Great Departure, when everybody disappeared. So she's, like, known, well-known in the departure community. Anyway, she is obviously very fucked up because of all this. And uh, Justin Thoreau's character is the local chief of police. And they form a bond on how fucked up they are. And throughout the show, it slowly reveals more things about, you know, the characters, what they've been through, their past, what happened before the thing, who they were like. Just a lot of insight on, like, people's greed, a lot of comments on, like, religion. It is just, it's got everything you could ever want. And it goes in directions you would never expect. And let me just say, Carrie Coon, you deserve so much praise and so many more things. She is unbelievable in Fargo. She is unbelievable in The Leftovers. Please go watch The Fucking Leftovers. It's just like, no matter how many people I try to tell, I just want to talk to somebody about it. You know what I mean? It's like, is the show being unsuccessful and nobody watching it a metaphor for the show itself? Like, am I a sudden departure? Did I watch the show and suddenly fucking transport into a parallel universe where nobody else has seen it? And now I'm trapped being the only one who was able to experience such an amazing work of art? You know, maybe. God damn it.